Hi guys, welcome back to B Prep. For this video, we have selected a question from Zard Paper 2020, and uh, this question is from Time and Work. Uh, different thing about this question is the workers are not working continuously, and uh, they have different leaf patterns. So while solving the question, we need to keep in mind their leaf patterns. Let's jump to the question. X, Y and Z are three software experts who work on upgrading the software in a number of identical systems. X takes a day off after every three days of work. Y takes a day off after every four days of work and Z takes a day off after every five days of work. So there are three workers X, Y and Z and they have a working at leave pattern. So X works for three days and then takes a leave of one day. Y works for 4 days and then takes a leave of 1 day and uh, similarly Z works for 5 days and then takes a leave of 1 day. So this is what the working pattern is. Now in the question we have 3 statements given. given. X and Y working together can complete one new upgrade job in 6 days. So according to statement 1 in 6 days. For 6 days X and Y are working and they are completing a job. So now X works every 3 days and after that he takes leave for 1 day. So in 6 days how many days X will work? So if you see 1, 2, 3 days working and then a day off. Okay, The 4th day is off for X. Then again he will work for Two days so one two three four five six so according to statement one if they worked for six days then out of the six days x worked only for five days okay and one day was his leave day so and if we consider their working efficiency is x unit per day for y it's y unit per day and for z it's z unit per day then according to first statements First statement x worked for 5 days so 5 into x so x completed 5x work and uh, y again y has a working pattern of 4 plus 1 days so in this 6 days y will work for 1, 2, 3 and 4 day 5th day will be off for y and uh, then y will work for 6th day so in total y will work only for 5 days out of this 6 days ok so in total y will work for plus 5y unit of work now together x and y they worked for 6 days but actual working days is 5 and they completed 1 unit of job so we can write 5x plus 5y is 1 ok no doubt so far now statement 2 says z and x working together can complete 2 new upgrade jobs in 8 days. So we have statement 2 which says uh, the work was done for 8 days and in this 8 days Z and X are working. So uh, Z, Z's working pattern is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6th uh, day will be leave for Z. So out of 8 days Z will work for 5 and then 7 and 8. So Z will work for 7 days. So 7 Z plus in these 8 days X will work for 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7th day will be off. So again X will work for 6 days. So we can write 7 Z plus 6 X. Now in 8 days Z and X can complete 2 unit of work. Right? So we have to put here 2 and uh, there is third statement in the question which says y and z working together can complete 3 new upgrade jobs in 12 days so y and z are working for 12 days so we can put equation here so y working for 12 days out of these 12 days y will work for 10 days okay because every 5th day is leave for y so y will work for 10 days days and total work done by y is 10y plus z 
will work for again 10 days because sixth day was leave for z and again the 12th day will be leave for z so z will also work for 10 days and total work done by z is 10z and in this time they have completed three unit of work so this is the information given in question that we have translated into, into equations now if x y and z together start afresh on a new upgrade job after a common day off exactly how many days will be required to complete this job so x y and z they are together working on a job and we need to find out the days they will take to finish the job so now out of these three questions we have three variables and three questions so we can find out their values values of x y and z individually so if we just multiply this equation 1 by 2 and uh, subtract that from equation 3 then we will have so 5x is multiplied by 2 so 10x plus this 10y and this 10y will be cancelled we have multiplied this equation by 2 so this will be cancelled and uh, then we will have minus 10z equals to uh, this is 2 and this is 3 so it will be minus 1 okay so we have multiplied equation 1 by 2 and subtracted it from 3 so this is uh, uh, what we have and uh, now to calculate the value of x we can substitute this uh, equation in this equation or other way around is we can multiply this equation by uh, you see uh, 10 by 7 and uh, then if we add this equation to and the fourth equation that we have got we will get the value of x so after multiplying this equation uh, equation number 2 by uh, 10 by 7 then we can rewrite that equation as 10z uh, plus 60 by 7x equals to 20 by 7 and if we add this z will get cancelled x will be 130x by 7 equals to 20 minus 1 13 by 7 okay or x will be 1 by 10 so value of x is 1 by 10 and uh, from equation 1 we can see x and y are equal so value of y will also be 1 by 10 okay because equal part of them is making 1 so x and y are same so y will be 1 by 10 and uh, now if we put the value of y equals to 1 by 10 in third equation then it is y is 1 by 10 so this will get cancelled 1 this side we will have 2 and z equals to 2 by 10 okay so now this is clear that every day x is doing 10% of the job y is also doing 10% of the job and z is doing 20% of the job okay 2 by 10 so every day x y and z combined they will do 40% of the job so working together x y and z can complete 40% of the day sorry 40% of the work every day so to complete 100% of work they will take 2.5 days okay which is the answer if you have any questions or doubts please post in comments and guys please do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notification about the latest videos thank you for watching this